Do-do-do-do-do. The altitude gets higher and higher, and the air gets thinner. <clears throat> and because we've been on the road for about 1,500 kilometers now, our body tells us um, what it needs. And as the air gets thinner, there's less oxygen, so your legs get really heavy. Your body gets tired, lethargic. You get um, altitude headaches and a little bit of altitude nausea. So that was the, um, the slog as we climbed up onto this plateau. And behind me is, uh, even though it's cloudy, there's continued uh, height as you go up to Ruapehu and all the um, famous ski fields of uh, Turo and Whakapapa. Kia ora koutou. Yep, so today we have cycled from Taihape to Waiuru, which was our destination, and it was a freezing wind, and I was considering all the possibilities of hypothermia today, which is completely different from when we were in Te Waipunamu, where it was really hot. And um, we've arrived in Waiuru, and we have a motel unit, so we're hunkering down here, and indeed, there is snow forecast for Ruapehu. Amazing end of December, and that's how it is. And that's biking in Aotearoa for you. Anything can happen. Uh, kia ora te whanau. It's our, um, our day to ride down to Turangi today, which is a six hour ride. We're still in Waiuru, and we've had to make a uh, decision around our safety. You can see the clouds are rolling in, it's uh, freezing weather. It's going to be four hours at least on the desert road to get down to the six hour ride to uh, Turangi and uh, prediction of rain all day um, it's snowing up on the mountain unbelievably in the middle of summer and uh, we didn't predict that this would happen on the North Island probably the South Island but uh, we're going to stay uh, and have our first compulsory um, day off really at uh, the famous um, Oasis Motel in Waiuru. Um, just had to make a decision around safety, uh, mainly around uh, hypothermia. If we got caught out on that uh, desert road for four hours and it's wet, uh, it could be pretty dangerous. So um, sometimes you have to make those decisions and if they can help anyone else, uh, whoever uh, gets in a predicament like this, um, I hope that can help. Just had to make the decision. Everyone's got, all the cars have got their lights on. Um, the, th the thing about that is in, in half an hour they'll be out of here, but um, it's going to take us six hours. So we're going to stay put and have a game of Scrabble all day.